The Oyster Bay East Norwich School District and community have always worked closely together to ensure that all students are the beneficiaries of a quality, well-rounded education provided in the most safe and secure environment. Our school district is the center of our community and we can all take great pride in the academic accolades and athletic and artistic recognitions our students have achieved. Our community's reputation for student-centered learning and success is enviable. After analyzing our facilities and listening to input from parents and community members, the Board of Education and Administration are proposing a bond referendum to renovate and improve our high school, which will benefit all students as well as community residents, and to improve our safety and security systems district-wide. To give voters a greater voice in deciding the future of our school district, the proposed bond referendum has been divided into two propositions. If approved, Proposition 1 will support Oyster Bay High School's fine and performing arts expansion and completion of the air conditioning installation in the auditorium. This is my 12th year here. Uh, when I started there was one band. It was roughly 98 players. Um, in the last 12 years we've been able to grow that program into two bands. We now have a symphonic band and a wind ensemble and there's approximately 140, 145 students involved in the program. We're at a disadvantage because um, with one band of 100 at a time, if not more, then we put two kids on a stand, sometimes three kids on a stand. Uh, you can see that we have risers in this room. There are students that are on the floor, so they're not sitting on the same level as everybody else. The levels themselves present the problem because that's something that they tried um, in the 60s probably when this room was built, but that's not how you perform. The scope of work will include the redesign and expansion of the Music and Art Wing to better accommodate current and future student enrollments and to allow for greater flexibility to explore options for additional music and art curricula, renovation of three classrooms including the digital art room, the return of one instructional classroom in the main building by constructing a new 3D art room, relocation of all art classes to one area of the high school, Completion of the installation of air conditioning in the high school auditorium, installation of air conditioning in the band and chorus rooms, reconfiguration and renovation of existing choral room and band space, combining and enlarging band and art space including storage, increasing small group instructional space, installation of state-of-the-art sound recording systems, and the replacement of three sets of first floor corridor doors. It should be noted that the expansion of the high school will preserve the existing traditional architecture to maintain the integrity of the building, similar to the science wing. In today's environment, it is essential that the safety and security of students, staff, and those visiting our schools be protected. If approved by voters, Proposition 2 will support additional safety and security measures at Oyster Bay High School, James Vernon School, and Theodore Roosevelt Elementary School. The scope of work will include reconstructing and closed main entrance vestibules, installation of a visitor management system, installation of additional security cameras, and an upgraded security card reader system for entry access. An approved bond will enable the district to take advantage of 10% in New York State building aid and historically low interest rates to reduce the cost to taxpayers. The total cost for Proposition 1 is $6,990,791. If Proposition 1 is approved, the cost to the average homeowner will be approximately $0.16 cents per day, or approximately $58 per year. The total cost for Proposition 2 is $826,000. If Proposition 2 is approved, the cost to the average homeowner will be approximately two cents per day, or approximately seven dollars per year. If both Proposition 1 and Proposition 2 are approved, this bond debt will actually be $161,927 less than the current expiring bond debt, reducing the current increase for the average homeowner from $83 per year to $65 per year. The Board of Education and Administration believe the proposed scope of work addresses our current needs and our vision for the future of our school district. The proposed work at our high school and the enhanced safety and security upgrades district-wide will benefit all of our students and community residents. The vote date is scheduled for Thursday, December 17th from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. at Oyster Bay High School. Your vote is your voice, so please remember to vote. 
For information about the proposed bond referendum, please visit the district's website at www.obnschools.org.